Okay, and as I was saying, I'm debating if I want to do another mid-course correction. It doesn't really seem necessary, because these this off-plane distance is now so small that I can definitely, you know, make that change uh, while lining up with the base. I can show you just how close you know, I am at this point. You know, it's pretty much right on the money. Um, but as I get in, it is continually going in the wrong direction. And it is very easy to make changes still out at this point. You know, just for the sake of being a bit of a perfectionist, I guess, I'm going to go ahead and make one more quick maneuver with TransX. So, let me switch the webcam back over to the center. Bring up TransX. Go to View, Maneuver on. And So it's negative and it's going farther into the negative, so I need to make it a positive number. And we'll say 10 kilometers. What about the altitude? What was that doing? I already forgot. So the altitude is going 50, let's see, 18, 88. Okay, so the altitude's going up. Alright, so I need this to come down just a little bit. I need this to go up a little bit. All right. Okay, so that's got the off plane distance where I want. Now a little bit outward. altitude down and I'll make it five kilometers. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Now as before first reset the date. Now bump it ahead just a tad. That's more than okay I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Rotation. Now. And the reason I kind of like doing these mid-course corrections is just because they're so small. I mean, you know, again, the delta V that we're burning here is only 4.7. So, I mean, we're, we're getting a lot of benefit out of a very, very tiny amount of fuel. 
whereas even you know making a plane change or just aligning with the base of six kilometers if you're almost on top of the base it would require a lot of fuel relatively speaking so it's just nice to get all these things lined up as much as possible when you're still out I think I'm probably being a little ridiculous about it but oh well at least you can learn a lot about transects this way translation and three two one and burning and just again burning with translation only because it's a small amount zero point zero zero okay view 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 to maneuver variables over to maneuver mode looking over here on becomes off and here's what we have so let's look at the orbit MFD we're now 12,000 seconds away <clears throat> from Paraloon so let's get in a little closer and then we'll do our final transex maneuver Yeah, it looks like maybe that last correction wasn't entirely necessary. The off-plane distance is coming down, but it's only come down to 7. And the minimum altitude is going up, but technically that's actually not high enough. If this were a realistic flight around the moon, I would want a minimum altitude of no less than 13 or 15 kilometers. So one thing I can do actually without having really too much impact on anything is go to the prograde position and rotation rotate 90 degrees to the right. I can yaw out to the right and just do a very tiny uh, burst of translation and that will boost my altitude a little bit more because six kilometers seven kilometers that's a bit low and it didn't seem like it was climbing quickly enough but this is going to be another very translation minuscule maneuver so watch the uh, here or here a little bit of translation good enough since it is climbing a little bit if this gets you know up to 15 16 or even 20 that'll be fine I you know I just don't want it to get up to 50 or something but being that I'm this close to Paraloon there's no chance of that happening okay back to prograde for a moment just to look forward I like to see where I'm going. Last transex maneuver. So the last thing we've got to do is when we get to periapsis at the moon uh, or paraloon, obviously normally, or what you can do, you don't even have to use transex for this, uh, you can just 
you know, when you get somewhere, say, out to here, go to the retrograde position, and then, you know, coast in to this point, do a main engine burn to close the orbit. You can do it that way very simply. But we can also use Transex for a minimal amount of more precision, although this particular maneuver is actually, I'm not, I don't even really think it's that much easier to use Transex, and in some ways I actually think it's harder to use Transex to do this maneuver. But I'm going to do it just for the sake of making this whole thing done with Transex. So maneuver mode's on, and the first thing we need to do is go to the date setting, and according to Transex, we're going to be at periapsis at this date, or this time, 8820. That's very close, so all I need to do is just bump this forward, because this, again, this is when this maneuver is going to happen. So I'm just going to bump this forward to 8820. Okay. Now I'm going to go to variable prograde velocity. And you know when you're circular, circularizing your orbit, when you're bringing the apoapsis down, that's done with reverse uh, velocity. So we're going to do some negative prograde. And one thing I'm going to do here, because I don't like this view, I'm going to go to View, View, Setup, click through the variables, and here it says Graph Elliptic. You can see it has this showing the, the orbit around the moon like that, but if I click Focus, or even Maneuver, either one, it gives me this view, which is easier to, it's easier to line it up than if you're looking at that view. So let me go back to maneuver and continue bringing this down. And what I'm looking for here is to have this perforated yellow line, you know, be circular around the moon. And what it, one thing it doesn't, one thing Transex doesn't do here, which is what makes this maneuver more difficult, in my opinion, than just using Orbit MFD, it doesn't tell you what your apoapsis is going to be. At least if it does, I don't know where it's at. Actually, maybe that's the major radius. Focus. Because obviously I don't want this to be my final orbit. That's, you know, getting in toward the surface and then going way out. So I definitely need to bring it in tighter. But just eyeballing it here that's very imprecise. I want a number. I want to be able to see that when this burn's done, my orbit is going to be circular. And using Transex in this method, I don't see how to know for sure that I'm going to end up with a circular orbit. And that's one thing I just I don't like about this maneuver. Well, I'm just going to go with that, just eyeballing it. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have orbit MFD up. And then as I'm doing this burn, I'm going to do what Transex tells me to do up to the point 
that it no longer makes sense, and then I'm going to rely on Orbit MFD to, you know, make the final refinement. Excuse me. So let's VW to get to this, and the only thing I need to do now is fast forward until I get close to periapsis. Carefully, don't ever want to overshoot. And I'm actually going to go to the retrograde position now because all that <clears throat> all that detail, uh, re relative detail on the moon, makes my video lag because my computer isn't cool enough to handle it while I'm recording. It's fine when I'm not recording, but while I'm recording I get a lot of lag. I just need a better computer. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into periapsis and that's much smoother. And we're coming up on periapsis. <clears throat> okay, go ahead and get into retrograde now. And you can see that TransX is telling me the best time to burn. And I do trust this number. I just don't trust the time, the length of time that it tells me to burn. And I'll kind of show you what I mean here in a minute. Oh, and really briefly I'll mention you can actually do this burn. Let me pause this for a second. You can actually turn off the retrograde autopilot, line this up with the X, and you can also make any final adjustment to your off plane distance as needed by pitching up or down. But I believe my off plane distance is so small at this point that I don't care to be that precise with it. It's that's good enough. It would just at this point it would be too confusing and I didn't think about it quickly enough, I'm too close to have to do it to the point that I needed to do this burn. So, alright, here we are. <clears throat> In five. And burning. And we're captured. See orbit MFD shows that we are captured and we're getting a more circular orbit by the second. Okay, getting close to the time that uh, Transex is telling me to stop burning. But I'm also, at this point, again, I'm, I'm trusting this information more than TransX at this point, because I know that I want my apoapsis to be good and low, but I also don't want to bring my periapsis down too much, so... That's as good as that's going to get for now. If I continue burning beyond that, it's going to drive my periapsis down too much. I really needed a higher minimum altitude at the uh, at the moon. I came in a little low. This is only 12.87 kilometers, which is technically above the highest peak of the moon, but only by a tiny amount. So now with TransX, we will view over to maneuver and turn off maneuver mode, and I'm done with TransX at this point. So, as far as getting from the Earth to the Moon using Transex, 
uh, that would be the end if you're uh, you know if you were trying to learn something here but I'm gonna go ahead and complete the journey all the way to the ground but the rest of this obviously is just basic orbital mechanics and regular MFDs I don't need transex for anything anymore so I'm gonna bring up base sync MFD it's very useful I'm gonna target Brighton Beach and my distance off base distance is only 22 kilometers that's very minimal and I'm coming up to uh, periapsis uh, because the way that burn worked it pushed periapsis forward a bit so once I get to periapsis I can actually circularize my orbit a little better bring the apoapsis down to something like I, I like 20 kilometers around the moon I think that's good even 15 is fine but 20 is pretty good and I'm going to get there before I get here oh yeah I've got to click this on equatorial if you click this it goes between equator and direct and you want direct and this is set to closest passage already okay so let me get to uh, the periapsis <clears throat> fairly small burn coming up just gonna bring the uh, apoapsis down a little tiny bit in fact I can rotation translation probably use translation I'll use a little main engine burn yeah that'll be fine okay and the apoapsis is now 20 kilometers, I like that. Okay, good. <clears throat> Let me see where I'm at. Okay, three points, 3,700 kilometers and getting further away, so... So I still have a full orbit to go before I'll get back over to Brighton Beach so that means I'll have time to uh, make this correction using base sync and this isn't necessary really the distance here is close enough that when I do the braking maneuver to slow down to get to Brighton Beach I could just at that same time make a small adjustment to the orientation of the vessel and bring this off plane distance down to zero but I'm just gonna use base sync when it tells me to because it's it's a little bit easier I think <clears throat> check when I'm coming up to uh, apoapsis 1,000. Okay, I'll be here first. Okay. Where am I at? Okay, it's still a little ways out. So the way this works is this is the time to the node and it's 330 some odd seconds away this minus is telling me the direction that I'm going to orient uh, that I'll so this is going to be anti-normal burn you know orbit minus and it's going to be a very small amount this according to this it's less than one second of main engine
Okay, whoa, 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 we're almost overshot. And I did pass the time to know just a little bit, but that's okay. Rotation translation. I'm just gonna use a little bit of translation. Um, let me bump the main engine for a second. Yeah, there we go. And again, I'll take a moment to realize if this is counting up or down. It's counting down. So that tells me if I err on the side of having this be a little bit positive, then hopefully by the time I get all the way over to Brighton Beach, this will be at zero or close to it. That might be a little too much. Let me go there. That even might even still be a little bit much, but I'll leave it at that. Now it's not really necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and circularize my orbit at, at Apoapsis, just because it's a very small burn. And we're basically done with base sync. Now for this burn, I'm going to click mod to turn off the graphic because it gets in the way sometimes. And I don't actually plan on going around, so doing this orbit circularly, circular, bringing up my periapsis is almost not necessary. Well, it isn't necessary, but Rotation I'm translation. going to do it anyway. Good enough. Okay, now. Need to know the frequencies for Brighton Beach. I should have them memorized, but I don't. 116.30 for the, uh, I guess you call it the beacon. Something's on landing pad 1, so go with landing pad 2. 132.30. Okay. And... Okay. Da, 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 da. Move the webcam over here, because I basically only need this one MFD now. Go ahead and go to the retrograde position. And all I need to do now is orbit around until... until the VOR, V, T, O, L gives me the information from Brighton Beach. Okay. Now, I know from my many trips to the moon that if you wait, if you really want to be quick about touching down, depending on your mass, 
depending on how much fuel you have. You can wait until the distance is all the way down to like 70 kilometers, but then you instantly have to put on full main engines, and you're basically going to burn all the way till you're right over top of the base. Some people may prefer to start the burn a little bit sooner, and then level out, turn, and then go forward. It just depends. There's a ton of ways you can do this. But uh, in the interest of time, I'm going to try to do it quickly. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll crash. Fast forward a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Basically, I'm going to go all the way down to 70 kilometers and then burn main engines all the way till I'm there. It's a very aggressive way to do it. Especially considering that I'm only at 20 kilometers. And you see how quickly that distance closes.
Translation. I hate trying to land using the standard delta glider for the fact that it doesn't have a descent hold. It just, it's, it's not hard, it's just busy. Just a lot of busy work. Rotation. Translation. I love the XR2, it's just an amazing vessel. Okay, let's close up here. First thing we can do is turn on external, external cooling. That'll save external our oxygen and give us uh, free cooling, basically. And there's not much need to have the APU on at this point, if necessary, if desired, you can kind of go through and close things up. Uh, no need to have retro doors open anymore, so we can close those to keep out the moon dust. No need to have radiator open because we have external cooling, so we can keep the moon dust out of our radiator. No need to have hover doors open. So we can close those. And of course if we want we can open the you know the uh 
if we want to do EVA, we can open up the nose cone and do those sorts of things, but that's uh, another story altogether. So that is the Earth to the Moon navigating with Transex, and I uh, hope it was interesting. Signing off.